First thing right off the bat, yes, both of these games are good. I can't stress enough how much fun and satisfying it is to just swing around New York. They absolutely perfected the swinging mechanics in these games. The only shortcoming I can possibly think of is I feel the story for these games are a bit forgettable, but of course, they're still good. Hear me out. I played the first Red Dead Redemption back when it first came out in 2011, and all these years later I can still pretty much tell you thoroughly what happens throughout the events of that game, because it was truly a breathtaking, memorable masterpiece. As of now, it's been a little over a year since I've played Spider-Man PS4, and I honestly can't really tell you that I remember too much. Miles Morales had a slightly worse story, and yes, it is a much shorter game. But both of these games have some of the best combat gameplay I've ever seen in an action game, period. I still hop on the first game when I'm bored to just kick some ass. I 100%ed both games because they were really just that much fun, and nothing felt like a chore at all, which is what games tend to feel like when you're trying to get to that 100%. I also really love all the suits they have in the game, especially since you can literally change into them at any time you want throughout the story. I'm going to give Spider-Man PS4 an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to give Miles Morales a 7.5 out of 10. Also, fuck you Insomnia for that bullshit Peter remodel. He genuinely looked like an older experienced Peter that could be Miles' mentor, but now he looks like he could be his college roommate. 